only one person who's going to sit this one out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, also it sucked to be that one person, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to get the game started. Yeah, there it is. Getting right into it. Okay, game one, everybody. Four stocks to four. Nothing Probably new. Okay, Yappy gets a tech chase? No. This is it. Oh, almost gets him in the corner there. That could have been brutal, but that knee is going to be strong. See if he can get this edge guard. Well, I, I was so certain he was going to get the back air there, but the edge guard's still going. Yeah, I like the patience, even. It looked like he was giving up the ledge, but in reality, he was just he knew that uh, Modentor was going for a higher angle there. Just back up and, and regroup, you know? Find a better yeah. option. And Modentor also went for the high recovery all three times there. So, uh, yeah, he just covered that one, and it worked out for him. Yeah, oh. again, the corner. So scary. Yeah. Montour, nice getting that up tilt in there, but the pullback from the side B. Yeah, always tricky, man. The pullback always surprises me when Yappy yeah. does it on me. Oh, wow. No tech is going to be an easy knee for Yappy. Yeah, Montour's really got to start taking stocks here because crew battles, stocks means uh, stocks are more important than ever, you know? Yeah. Oh, great drift back from Yappy. He's just holding on to his stock right now. And another grab. Okay, doesn't get the down throw. Barely, barely kills. Yeah. But this is still very doable, you know? Wow, he's just stomping in place and it's working. He's fishing, Yappy's out fishing. Wow, great grab there, crouch canceling that weak nair. Yeah, tech chase opens up, but doesn't get much out of it. Now it's Modenter's turn. Oh, that F smash was... Wow, that was oh. lucky, the up air. I, I was for certain that he was gonna get a four smash there and die, but yeah. uh, he's surviving. It would be a sad way to, to take that stock, but it's what Modenter really needs right yeah, now, you know? Trades the Nair, it's not going to send off far enough. And now Yappy back to neutral with the Falcon kick in the corner. The Yappy classic. Yeah. And another one! <laughs> yeah. And another one. You see, if you haven't seen a Falcon Falcon kick before, <laughs> you better buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> Alright, Modenter takes the stock again, right back. Can you hear me yeah. again? I think my mic. Yeah, I can hear you again. Um, okay, but this is not that bad for Modentor. He's, I mean, at least I'm still holding on to this one stock uh, deficit. Yeah, he didn't get full advantage of taking Yappy's jump there, though. That was uh, unfortunate. Oh my god, no tech again. Oh, but finds the up smash. Now Yappy going for that tech chase, doesn't manage to find it. And Modentor doesn't hit that shine, the pullback on the side B again. It's such a bad situation there for Modentor. Again goes high. Does Yappy messes up the edge guard. And again the fountain kick in the corner clears out space in front of him. Opting for a get up attack. Kind of unusual there. I mean in the end it's a safe option to get some free damage, but finds the knee and Yappy takes it with two stocks. Yeah, he's gonna Yappy's gonna be happy that he actually held on to that stock with 120%. Uh, because now uh, now he's he's a clean stock going into the next match. Yeah, that's the uh, the strategy here. You know, in regular games, as soon as your opponent's on their last stock, you can kind of gung-ho it and just sort of do whatever you want. You can, you know, uh, dive off knee and kill yourself and kill your opponent. But here it's like, you really need to make sure those stocks are clean. If you drop a stock in some combo or some edge guard, that's yeah. a huge loss for your team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But no, Yappy's sitting pretty on two stocks. Maybe he can take another three stocks with his two stocks. You never know. Yeah, we'll see. This is the time, this is the kind of, this is where you see, like, the rampage start, if it does start. Yeah. Uh, somebody coming in, taking a couple stocks, losing only maybe two, and then just running away with it. So, we'll see if Yappy can uh, pull something together here. I mean, if Yappy goes even with his two stocks now, he, he has already taken six stocks off the yeah. crew, which is huge. But he could, he could do so much more damage. Oh, for sure. I mean, have you ever seen a Yappy combo? That's a, you know... It's no. pretty nice. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah I definitely. <laughs> Even when you're playing, like, if I'm playing friendlies against Yappy, it's it's frustrating because you know you can't get out of his combos. He's just insane, and he's hitting you with like things that you don't even think you should be getting hit by. But you just can't help but respect what he's doing to you. You're like, yeah, you know, why not, man? <laughs> he found kicked me and like need me. All right, sure. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that's that's the matchup. You know, that's what Falcon does best. Yeah, but it's much more frustrating to play a Falcon that isn't just completely flexing on you like every step of the way. 
when he's just doing crazy stuff and like doing 50 wave lands, like moonwalk all the way across the stage. And <laughs> yeah. You're like, okay, yeah, I, I can't and complain. Then, <laughs> and, then if, and then if you punish him for doing something stupid, he'll be like, nice. And then he'll destroy you. <laughs> 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 this is now is the time to get serious. That's uh, yeah. But Yappy can definitely turn it up. So it's going to be scary for Scotland. I, I wonder who they're going to send in now. Yeah. Same. Maybe a, maybe a Falcon ditto, you know? Send in Shifting Shadows. Although I don't remember who mm. were the six that were on the team out of the ten that we have confirmed. So perhaps Shifting Shadows isn't on that list. Oh right, yeah. I mean, let's just uh, let's just hope for the best and ex and expect Shifting Shadows to be on there. Right, on right. Yeah. I mean, in the end, a Fox pick is also fine. Fuzziness Fox or Time Muffin Fox probably will be uh, mm -hmm. yeah. completely all right. Fuzziness would be a good pick, I think. Because fuzziness would be able to hold himself off on the next the, the next counter pick, right? Aside from Amsa, maybe. But yeah, I was gonna say I think the one thing that they have to account for is Amsa yeah. is coming. So but, <laughs> but picking picking Amsa versus Fox is maybe not the greatest idea. I mean, Amsa's of course super good, but uh, you know the matchup isn't super great for a Sheik. Right, right. You'd rather throw him in against a Marth or something if you can. Uh, yeah, guarantee that. But again, with Amsa, he could really destroy anybody either way so yeah true you don't uh, i feel like uh the netherlands doesn't really have to be very picky about their 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 character their, uh, player picks because they're just kind of better playering scotland um i think so the, too yeah in general you still have to be careful because yeah. uh, throwing in a fox against a marth is not exactly the, the smartest pick <laughs> when you have a you will throw in a fox on fd versus marth <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, in the end, again, I don't remember who the six were from from Scotland, but hopefully, uh, it's a good enough team that they can pull together and and uh, keep it close at least. Hopefully, I mean, even take it. That would be a great thing. Like I said, upsets always welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always nice to see a crew do well when you're when they're. Uh, let's not say expected to lose, but perhaps in a worse position than the other crew because then then it's like you guys worked as a team. You picked character player correctly you made the right calls and the right decisions so it's another type of skill to be able to be a crew captain like that and, and make decisions uh, under the pressure of you know you, the whole crew is riding on your back yeah definitely yeah it's it's also super hype to get an upset in crews because it's such a huge team effort right so yeah okay so it Plus looks like shifting is going to get in a uh, shifting shadows uh, so it's going to be a falcon dado actually uh, I wonder how I, I haven't seen too many like high caliber Falcon dittos uh, from Yapi, so I wonder how he's going to be uh, doing against uh, against shifting shadows. Me too. I wonder if at some point, like let's say for example, Yapi is doing these Falcon kicks and stuff, and he notices. I mean, obviously, if he notices it doesn't work, he's going to adapt. But more so, do you think he's going to shift his game plan maybe a little bit to more of a let's say consistent, solid play style? If he notices that shifting shadows is maybe like not falling for some random trickery in the downbees mm. up the corner or the I, 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 I think Yapi's strength is so so like based on the tricky stuff that uh, I don't think he'll really step off his game plan too much but uh I mean Falcon kicking in the corner isn't very much a game plan it's more just a true you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, when it happens four times in one game, you start to question whether or not that's like the only page in his in his note. But yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're not able to punish that, you really start to question if you if you even should have picked up the controller in the first place. True. I mean, yeah. to be fair, you know, Yapi he does a lot of falcon kicks, but he hits more falcon kicks than anybody I've ever seen. So. That's, that's true. That's true. Can't deny. So we're gonna get a quick hand warmer here. I, I imagine we're playing on Battlefield, but uh, I was gonna say that Yapi could just drop the stocks, but it seems like Shifting Shadows accidentally SD'd, so we are gonna have to get a, a reset probably. Yep. I mean, I think it needs to be reset anyway for for Leva to be to be uh, ready. Um, but yeah, just hand warming a little bit. Looks good. Oh, though. actually, it looks like the the Scottish team is in full effect here. It looks like it was just maybe yeah. an error earlier. So uh, not to worry, Scotland. See? There's no reason to be worried. No reason to be worried. Only Amsa. <laughs> oh, he has arrived. Wait, what? Wait, what? It's Amsa. <laughs> Wait, that's not that's not Yapi's cam. That's very much Amsa. <laughs> oh, oh, Yapi's cam died. Ah, okay. 
So instead of instead of Yapi, we're just getting Amsa feed, which is also so also good. Or Knuckles, that's also fine. This is Knuckles. It's also not Yapi. All we request is that Knuckles pretends to be playing right now. He pretends that he's Yapi. Yeah. Every time he gets a stock, like not as much as he can. Yeah. So, for anybody tuning in right now, we're going into the second match of this crew battle. Yapi at two stocks versus Shifting Shadows with four stocks. Uh, the stock counts are right there, as you can see, 18 to 16. So, uh, let's see how this one turns out. Uh, looks like Knuckles is pretending to play. Oh, he's, like doing it, he's doing it! He's doing it! He's doing it! He's doing it! He's using like a PS4 controller. <laughs> <laughs> he's a gamer. All right, we're getting into it. Looks like Yapi did not drop Ooh. the stocks. I imagine it'll be uh, just a case of when Yapi loses two stocks, he'll end the game. Yeah, this is just, just. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you don't have a crowd to count down, then what's the point to counting down, right? So. Right, right. Ooh, shifting oh, shadows starting up strong there. Huge SD for uh, from Yapi there, and oh wait, what? Oh, uh, maybe he just forgot. Maybe this. Yeah, I'm but confused. this is now we need to reset again. I think. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I guess. Or that's just it. That's just it. Or are we gonna, are we gonna play with with the shifting shadows, twenty five percent down? No. Okay. Looks like we're gonna reset. <laughs> that would have been funny though. Yeah. That... <laughs> All right. Yappy dropping the stocks here. I'm imagining maybe it'll be the taunt thing, or it'll be a. Uh... Just waiting for a specific time. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so now the match has started. You know, they lose 15 seconds on the clock, but I don't think either of these players are, are going for time out here. <laughs> so I don't think it matters too much. I mean, going for time would be impossible, like, uh, crew st in crew standards, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean in, in the sense that, like, because we have to take so much time to do that uh, starting position, you could argue, oh, but, you know, people try to time out, but I, I don't think anybody is trying to time out here. Especially not in this matchup. Ooh. Okay, Shifting Shadows gets a tech chase. Oh, okay, he manages to get the grab there. Okay, this is Ooh, huge for him. Yeah, that follow up with a dash attack, but the pullback on the side B again in the corner. And Yappy yeah, finds the knee! It's, it's always tricky to not get messed up by the pullback there. Yappy showing he likes the B moves in the corner. Yeah, Yappy just completely dominating uh, Shifting Shadows' space here. He can't seem to get his footing. Yo, nice gentleman's from Yappy. He's not very known for that, but. Uh... I mean, he used to be known for that, but that's just because of Pell. <laughs> yeah. And now, Ooh. up airs. Hard need, not oh, gonna man. shield. Yeah, Shifting Shadow's just having trouble just finding one hit, and now Yapi's just running away with this stock, look at that. Yeah, okay, and now we're even on stocks, so Shifting Shadow's has to really respond here, or else they're gonna go down pretty far. Okay, this- Oh, he messes oh, up the stomp him. knee. And he doesn't hit the knee on the no-tech either. Another nice gentleman from Yapi, but Shifting Shadows now has Yapi in the corner. Oh, ah, uh, no oh. gentleman from Shifting Shadows, and this is, ooh! Oh, and he no! smacked him! Oh. Not like this! Scotland's gonna go out like this! Yeah, I really thought Shifting Shadows was gonna get it there, but... Uh, oh, yeah. man, that's so unfortunate. Oh, back throw, <laughs> back throw up tilt, he's breaking the code! And knee, and... Okay, he doesn't dive off too far, I was gonna say Yapi could go ham no, here. this is gonna be four stock. That's it. Softy That's it. There. He has no jump. He's, he's dead. Yeah. Wow. Oh goodness. Yappy four stuck shifting shadows, and now Scotland's you know quaking in their boots. Yeah, there's some trembling going on here now. Yeah, definitely. What are you, what are they gonna do now? Send in Fade with Marth? It's too late. It's too it late. Feels, guys. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's a blow. This the is the kind game. of yeah, like we said, you know, the the previous lead, it's 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 like when people say, oh, one stock is not a lead in melee. You know, two stocks is not a lead in a crew battle. You could easily lose those stocks if you're like not careful. But taking all four of the opponent's stocks with those two yeah. stocks remaining really the puts you in a strong lead position. The Netherlands is now six stocks ahead of Scotland. This is looking very grim right now. Yeah, the mountain has already became become huge. So Scotland really has to to pull together here. I would say even if you're 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 worried about Amsa, you know, you're holding on to maybe your like ringers, you should just probably go for it at this point. Uh throw something at the wall and see what sticks because mm -hmm. uh as of right now, I don't think Yapi is stoppable if you start throwing yeah. uh let's say the weaker players at him now. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking they probably gotta have to send in fuzziness now, right? 
Yeah, probably. Maybe they should have done that before shifting shadows, but it's a hard call, right? You don't, you know, you don't expect someone to get four stocked. Yeah, never. I mean, also the fact that it's a it's a ditto kind of like it adds ambiguity to it mm -hmm. to some degree. You could say that you know you can pick for a matchup, but picking for a ditto is like it's it's fifty fifty. You know, you never uh, in terms of matchup spread, like you're not really worried about it being a bad matchup. You're just worried about whether or not the person who you're putting in is better at the ditto than the person uh, who's already in. So yep. in this case, Shifting Shadows, unfortunately, just dropped a few too many situations there. He had like two or three chances to, to take a stock maybe, but that's melee for you. I mean, if you don't use those neutral openings, you will uh, lose your lead. Hey, but uh, one nice thing about uh, Yapi still being in here is that we don't have to switch any uh, production side of things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey. a godsend. So if he if he can keep four stocking people, we might just be on schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, Yappy? Hear that, buddy? <laughs> this is a threat. If he doesn't do it, he's gonna get DQ'd. Yeah, I'm gonna contact the mods in the Smash NL Discord. We'll get Yappy kicked. I'll see to it. <laughs> Wait, isn't he a mod? Yeah, he's a mod. <laughs> Maybe he'll kick himself. Yeah. Kick himself. Just message him. Yeah. Amen. So we're waiting on the next character pick, looks like. Yeah, I think they're deciding on voice chat. So we'll just have to wait for a second. I mean, so who, would, uh, who would you send in? I would definitely send in Fuzziness, man. Because I don't think you can send in Fade now. You really can't do that because Marth isn't... Marth is scary, man, versus versus Falcon. Yeah. And you're going to get counterpicked afterwards to maybe, you know, Omsa, so... <laughs> Let's say let's say Fade takes Yapi stocks cleanly. He's gonna get counterpicked super hard. Yeah, but I mean in general, you, uh, Marth like dominates the the matchup in neutral between Falcon. I mean Falcon obviously has like the the speed, the quickness, the the random, the the crazy explosive. I mean, problems, but Marth with like his space domination can just completely shut out Falcon in a lot of ways. So it's a good pick, but like you said, the the sheet counterpick is just way too strong at this point. Yeah, it's it's difficult. So I would say throw in fuzziness but if fuzziness decides to you know miss some text and get neat then that would also could make the deficit even bigger but you know yeah just don't get need seems yeah. pretty cool to me that's all there's to it that's the that's the only <laughs> thing you need to know about the falcon matchup i'm actually i'm i'm uh I'm curious to know who they're going to pick after Yapi then, because if Yapi does enough damage, theoretically, they could throw in, let's say, a B-team player, which is, you know, somebody who, as 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 was mentioned before, B-team, maybe somebody who's not as strong as some of the other players because of the comfortable lead, you know, mm -hmm. get a chance to play in the crew. Because to be fair, you know, uh, in some cases, there may be people who don't get to play in, in crews because they have to play against, you know, maybe like Sweden or something where... It's such a strong crew. You really have to be careful about who you're picking and how you're counterpicking. And because of fate or some, uh, you know, just unfortunate circumstances, you may never get picked and you may never get played. So it's a good opportunity to throw somebody in. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say who's the who's gonna be B team in of the Netherlands crew? Because looking at their crew, like I guess Happy Meals maybe, but even then, Knuckles I guess is B team. Yeah, uh, I would say if we're dividing in half, so like 10 players, and you say five of them are B-team, five of them are A-team, it's probably like Amsa, Yapi, Faudanel, Renzo, Renzo Skullbro, I would say. Jim Morrison, though? Jim Morrison, yes, but I also don't know how strong Jim Morrison is in Cruise format. That's the problem I have. The way I'm, I'm figuring it is is how strong they will do in a situation where they they have to hold on to stocks as best they can. Um and I think, as we saw, Yapi obviously no no contest. <laughs> like he's yeah, not yeah. a B team player. Amsa is just kind of self explanatory. Faudanel Peach is just a very strong character in crews like this. Renzo Marth and just so solid. You know, if you throw him in against a Fox, he'll just com or a Falco, he'll just completely dominate. Yeah, um, yeah. And then Skullbro has the the matchup advantage where, like we said before, you may have played Doctor Mario, but have you played Skullbro? Uh, <laughs> you know, you don't. You're not. You maybe aren't exactly prepped for that. So it's not so much like. How good is this person? It's how well do their skills and their character apply to the cruise format? Mm -hmm. True. But I, I looking at the crew battle, I think Knuckles is the weakest link here. But even then, like that's uh, he's pretty decent. So uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's also a toss up on any given day. You know, you could say 
depending on how the people are playing either way. It's uh, you know, between any of the B team players, but Oh, it looks like they are actually playing. What that's What? We have no feed. Uh, oh, so they they're they playing. Is... Yeah, we have no feed from uh, from Yapi here. Oh, that's that's sad. So apparently, Time Muffin is up against Yapi right now. Time Muffin, Fox player, um, and uh, he's gotten Yapi down to his last stock, but we don't know how many stocks Time Muffin is on. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. This is uh, kind of sad. It's a sad way to, to to watch the stream, not you know. Yeah, it's unfortunate if Yapi's uh, if Yapi's run here is uh, off stream, but you know, it happens. We'll see it what happens. happens next from there. We'll also see. I mean, if we come back and Yapi's still kicking, it'll be even more impressive. Like, yo, if if Yapi takes like uh, four stocks from Time Muffin and still has his one stock left, yeah, that'd be insane. I also, oh. sorry, I just realized there's a Netherlands strategy channel, so I was just peeking in there, seeing what they were saying. But uh, apparently, there is that's no strategy. Right. We're getting conflicting information now. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's looking like uh, they are still searching for each other. So, oh, looks like there's a connection now. Uh, okay, luckily we didn't start the match. There was false information being sent. We were misled. We were misled. Okay, looks like we're gonna get started on. Okay, so Yapi oh, yeah, went ahead and stomped. <laughs> so now he has to reset the game again. <laughs> uh, so it looks like we're going to get started on uh, Fountain of Dreams. Good counterpick, of course. Uh, Yapi has two stocks left. Sitting pretty. Taking eight stocks for his two stocks. Crazy. Taking six. Uh, no, eight. You're right. Eight. What the heck? Yeah, he's taking eight. He's six. Yeah, oh my goodness. That's That's painful, man. Ready, and now Yapi gonna do the right thing and uh, SD is socks here. Do the right thing. <laughs> Come on, Yapi. Maybe he right should thing. do the right thing and just SD one more stock. Yeah. Oh what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was I was joking. Oh wait, so he is on one stock. What? Oh, they, they're restarting now. So they they played, I guess, until ah, Yapi okay. had one stock and then. <laughs> or you know, this is just the freebie, the the Yapi freebie. Everybody gets a Yapi freebie. Yeah, this is uh, quite confusing, but we're getting into it now anyway. FOD, not such a great stage for Falcon, but I imagine, you know, probably ban something like FD. Ooh, yep, he's uh, on the ropes, 80%, just uh, his last on his last stock right here. Yeah, he's got to make something happen quick. Ooh, he does have to jump though. Okay, he's going to go all the way to the top platform and it's going to be safe on the edge there. Oh, not reaching with the side B and not time muffin opening up here. Yeah, side B at low percent isn't... Wow, okay, that's it. Nice. Well done from Time Muffin, taking those two stocks without losing one. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah he's been slain, but uh, is it too late? Too little, too late? I mean, if Time Muffin suddenly decides to you know, four-stock Amsa, it's even again. Yeah, he should decide that, probably, if he can, you know, just suddenly realize, oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're gonna put in Amsa now. I, I think that would be a <laughs> yeah, that'd be a misplay. I guess. I, I guess we'll have to uh, watch a new stream now. I'm thinking maybe Knuckles. You know, could be a good pick. Yeah, Knuckles could be a good pick or Renzo. Yeah, I, I I'm going under the mentality of yeah. Okay, uh, up next uh, is Renzo. So let's let's watch his stream. I, oh, I see yeah, that he's wow. up. Yeah, they decided very quickly. They didn't need to think about it. They were like, you know what? Send in the, you know, the big guns versus the uh, the fox mains. Yeah, just real quick, clean it up. Okay, so I am watching Renzo's broadcast right now. So we're just hey. getting set up. So this, I mean, it's going to be four stocks to four stocks. We're just going to get right into it probably after the uh, the hand warmer. But I I see this going. Somewhat badly for for uh, time muffin here, especially since Renzo will be the one picking the stage. Uh, I imagine it's going to be quite a, a difficult time for him. Yeah, that's going to be you know, like rough as always. Playing Fox in a crew battle, you just kind of know that you're going to get counterpicked by Marth. Yeah. So. Uh... Just the double-edged sword of being Fox, you know, Fox can go in and uh, clean up the, clean up some stocks, but 
you're going to get counterpicked. <laughs> There's no yep. way around it. Which is why you see, I mean, it's also just a matter of who mains who, but you see a lot of foxes in, in the crews themselves. Netherlands with three fox players, or four technically if you count, you know, dual mains, and then uh, Scotland with looks like five if you count dual mains. So, yeah. Pretty big value pick. Yeah, of course. Fox being one of the strongest characters in the game makes sense to have a lot of them on your team. Yeah, it's a bailout option, you know, if you really need it, it's there. Yeah. I wonder how how this is going to go because um, I don't think Renzo... Is there bans? I don't even know if there's bans. Yeah, there are bans. So uh, you tell them the character that you're playing and everything, they ban a stage and then you pick... Uh, okay, Okay. so we're not going to see any FD Marths on Fox here so that's that's good for the fox players um, yeah exactly. makes sense. i mean it would just be brutal if you had marth and then yeah. ft counter pick as well you just get destroyed yeah that would be that would be disgusting but i mean even then having having a, a counter pick on a ban is still uh, not bad at all you know coming in with counter pick advantage that's another part of just having gotten such a high lead in, in cruise so far is that now the ball is in the Netherlands court to to basically call the shots. Now, if uh, if everything goes even by the end of it, the Netherlands will have more counter pick opportunities. So um, it's going to be a lot harder for Scotland to fight back from that. Man, I, I was just thinking about the shifting shadows versus Yapi game. That was so so sad for shifting shadows. Yeah, it is unfortunate. But again, I mean, you shouldn't kick yourself. It is Yapi in the end, and uh, true, true. he's an insane player. So just. I, I would not feel bad about losing that many stocks to Yapi, really. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, it looks like we're getting ready for the game. I guess that was just the hand warmer just now. Or it was them connecting for the first time. Okay, so we are going to go FD, apparently. Interesting. It, it begs the question if Time Muffin knows there are bans, or if uh, <laughs> yeah. Time Muffin banned a different stage, because if he banned a different stage, I'm... Kind that of concerned. Would be surprising, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking they probably didn't read the rules. Uh, it could be. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not just Scotland. I mean, Renzo would also yeah. be in, in the seat to, to call this out then. But, yeah, but uh, I mean, if, if your opponent decides to uh, not ban anything, hey. Yeah, that's I'm just not... a gentleman to FD. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like. They just did their hand warmer, and now we can start. Okay, we are starting on Pokemon, so they did ban FD. I think this is a classic Renzo pick. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of space to move and no top platform for Fox to use here. You're going to be limited to the platforms that Marth has access to with up tilt and uh, F smash, so a lot more difficult for Fox to, to find space here. Ooh, that was a very nice overshoot in air, barely cr clipping Marth's dash back there. Time I like that. Little, pretty safe. Yeah, I like that little like shine on shield up to the and then going up to the platform there, just getting out of the way of Marth's response to the pressure. Oh, so close to getting that wave shine up smash from the from the edge guard there, but barely misses it. And now it's still an even game. Okay, let's see yeah. if if Renzo can finish this up. No, pummels too much. Yeah, going for a bunch of pummels there. I really thought he was gonna clean up and just go for the the up throw combo, but you know, I wonder. I'm not in his head. I don't know what he's thinking. He's not oh, thinking. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's an interesting combo, getting poked. Right, when you All said right. he's not thinking, he just opened up his galaxy brain. It was like, oh yeah, up smash, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 up smash, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. Up throw, nice up smash. From, uh, from Time Muffin there. And Renzo going for the downer follow-up. Yeah, they're both playing pretty patiently right now. Wow, he actually gets the grab out of that sh getting shined because Renzo jumped. Yeah, and good job by Time Muffin there getting out of the corner. Really scary position to be in, having your back to the ledge like that against Marth, but Time Muffin managing to find his way up and over. Ooh. Oh! Wow! Great dunk there on the side B. Completely reading that side B and uh, dunking him. Yeah, caught him there. Caught him slipping. And now Time Muffin in an awkward position. Oh, no. Doesn't get out of the corner here. It could be bad. The jump was so scary, but Time Muffin manages to get away with it. And now, oh, okay, that just... that's brutal. I really thought Time Muffin was cooking there. He had a few nice hits. Could have hit yeah. him with an up maybe. It wouldn't have killed, but, you know, or maybe it would have. That's what happens in this matchup, man. You feel like you're doing okay, and then suddenly you just get up tilt down aired, and you're dead. Yeah. And like I said before, no top platform to run away to. Any platform you try to go to, you're going to be uh, accessible by Marth here, so... A lot more difficult to find find space. And oh. the F smash. Wow. 
Okay, Time Oven does get away with that situation. Luckily, still has a leash on life. Manages to get back from that uh, down tilt into jab. Yeah, it was That's weird. Renzo opted for back throw there. Uh, typically, you see a down throw from Marth towards the ledge. I guess maybe just as a mix up, you go for back throw. Yeah. See how they react. This is sad for Renzo because he probably wanted to get the three stock there if he manages to close out that edge guard. But that's just fine still, having a two stock lead here. I mean, I mean it could close up pretty fast here. Yeah. But I mean, thinking about Cruz, you really want to hold on to all of your stocks, right? Especially oh, if you're high percent. For sure. I mean, at this point, if Renzo loses another one, it's going to be devastating. Because Time Muffin, he's not looking like he's easy to kill here. And Arthritis is only getting uh, more prominent. I mean, great reaction there on the side B. And that's going to do it. Great jabs there. So yeah, you know, Renzo shouldn't beat himself too much up for that game. He still had two stocks by the end of it. The lead is still maintained, but, uh, and actually it's, it grew, it grew. Got, it got bigger, yeah. yeah. It got bigger. Um, but, you know, it could have been a three stock win there, really, if uh, yep. Trump had maybe tightened up that, that stock there. But in the end, NL's still ahead, so really should yep. not be criticizing them. <laughs> criticizing yeah, so them. they still have a six stock lead after Yapi uh, lost his two stocks. Um so this is looking still very pretty for uh, for the Netherlands crew right now. I think they might just send in Fade or Fuzziness now. Thinking Fuzziness might go Marth against Marth. Could be, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, I think in this case, then maybe you would rather opt for Fade in the sense that if you're picking uh, if you're picking a, a person to play a Marth ditto against a Marth, you probably want to pick somebody who is solo Marth and not like Fuzziness who. A great player, but you know he's also I'd probably say more prominent with with Falco or, or Fox than he is with Marth. <laughs> you want to pick somebody who maybe has a bit more of a solid uh, game plan going in, but at the same time we don't know what what fuzziness has been up to. He could be completely ready for this matchup if they throw him into it. So true, true. We'll see. I think it's so cool to see that fuzziness uh, got back into the game and is super active again because yeah, I, I hadn't heard from him in a while, and now he's uh, he's back on top, man. It's so cool. It's just really nice to see, uh, you know. To see players who are maybe a bit more old school per se, uh, jumping back into the fray and, and showing people where they are McKenzie. relative to the current skill. McKenzie as well was a great like blowout to see, just coming in and, and beating people up. Reaper when he showed up to that one sector Z and just completely wiped <laughs> Netherlands oh, yeah. until, uh, until losers finals. So you know it's just a great time for us. Uh, you know we're used to it because Ams has just been around since forever and he never left. So mm -hmm. it's sort of like a, a given, let's say. Always coming back to every tournament to get our pocket change. Yeah. To leave. <laughs> yeah, my That's parents are sad knowing how much, uh, you know, how much money they've given me and I've given to AMSA. As a <laughs> 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 it's like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. AMSA's at the top, you know. Yeah, AMSA's <laughs> at the top and we're all like bottom feeders. <laughs> all pool fodder. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. We are the life and blood of the community, right? Paying paying the, the top players. Um says the brain, he's in the skull. We're just the blood like flowing through the feet and stuff, you know, it's not a yeah. Essential but irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting yeah. on the pick here, looks yeah, like. I wonder what they're gonna send in, man. I'm thinking fade. I'm thinking fade as well. I think that's a pretty decent pick. Yeah, Again, I don't the know. same mentality of you know going into a ditto. It's a bit uh, the matchup. Yeah. Not so much the question. It's more so the players. I don't know how comfortable Renzo is in the Marth ditto, but I do know that a lot of Marths aren't comfortable in the Marth ditto. Um, Renzo is fairly comfortable in the Marth ditto. I mean, you don't you know you don't get to where he is without having beaten the better Marths in the in the country. So, uh, and where he is is top ten, obviously, or, or top five. Even though no, he's he's like yeah. number six, I think. I'm number, number six or seven, maybe like right below uh, Adon. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm sure he has a lot of, you know, uh, technique information on the matchup. And same thing with Fade. Again, like if you're a good Marth and you're in this position, there's, I'd say there's no way you don't uh, understand at least the fundamentals of this matchup. And this matchup is very fundamental heavy. But next up, we're getting Fuzziness actually playing Falco. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I did not expect Falco from Fuzziness, but uh, I guess I guess we're seeing Falco here. It seems like we're getting the best of both worlds because we were calling the, the fuzziness Marth pick or fade and I was saying, you know, I'd prefer fuzziness play Falco considering he's probably uh, more well-versed, but <laughs> this is not what I meant. I didn't mean against Marth. <laughs> yeah, look at these empty pivots though. Okay, so they're just doing some hand warmers right now. Interesting, man, to see uh, to see fuzziness play Falco. I didn't expect this at all. 
Me neither. I think this is, uh, in, in my opinion, just through my experience with the matchup, me also being uh, a worse Falco, I mean, I, I do not like this matchup at all. This matchup yeah. put me on the inside. <laughs> so, like, voluntarily coming in for a matchup like this, Fuzziness must be pretty confident that he uh, he knows what's going down. I mean, it might also just be desperation, right? Because they're, they're so far behind, they only have two players left, which is probably going to be Fuzziness and Fade. Um, meaning they'll have to, like, throw in a, a big one. So I guess Fuzziness wants to play Falco, try to win this game as quickly as possible, and then, you know, get to the next match and get counterpicked. Yeah, very possible. Oh, this that was such an interesting fort smash. Renzo has, has a small lead right now. Yeah, Fuzziness still, I mean, he's he's down, but he's not, uh, you know, completely letting the situation slip out of his control. He's still managing to hold his own in neutral, just only getting hit by a few stray hits. Oh, but that was very spiky. Yeah, super risky. Okay, interesting fort smash. Go, trying to go for the tipper immediately there. D didn't manage to get the good hitbox, though. Finds okay. that back here. Renzo's gonna grab ledge here and come up with the ooh and Great down there. Land. That was in an interesting, uh, an interesting choice as well, like move choice, going for the hard wave land on up tilt. That's not something you'd see a lot of Marths do. Yeah. And Fuzziness definitely was not expecting that. Yeah, caught him off guard completely and set up for a great combo there. Oh, and goes for the oh. narrow Marth killer, and a great ooh. counter as well. Yeah, uh, Renzo going for some really uh, unorthodox options from ledge here, and it's working out in his favor quite well. I like that double bear from Frenzy. It didn't work out, but now he has a up oh, Frenzy. What am I saying? Fuzzy this. <laughs> Red Falco just sent me to another dimension for a second. Uh oh, this huge combo for Renzo messes up though. Still going. Yeah, Fuzziness off stage. That's going to be it for his stock there, and the lead is still being held yeah, by Renzo. Renzo's going to be so happy with this already, taking uh, six stocks now. If he loses this stock, it's completely fine. Oh, but he gave it the ledge! That was a beautiful oh, No, and that's gonna be a down tilt into SD. Oh, no, he messes up. No! He had the SD on the ledge as well. That's so oh, unfortunate. Tragic, tragic stuff for Scotland going now, on. Right now. Oh man, it could get even more tragic. Buckle your seatbelts, because. Oh. I... <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> no, Renzo, please don't. Renzo, please. Have mercy, <laughs> Renzo, <laughs> please. <laughs> Make it stop! It's a no! He's done. It's, oh no! Oh, okay. he, oh, he flipped the down tilt! Fuzziness has one more chance. Oh. No! No! Not oh, like man. this! Not like this! Oh my god. And is it just gonna end like this? Renzo, one stock left. So far, we've only sent in two players, I think? Yeah. The Netherlands has only sent in two players, and Scotland is down on their last player right now. Oh man. Tragic. I hate to say it, I hate to call something this early, but Scotland needs a miracle, really. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh man, <laughs> that was so tragic. It all just went downhill after getting that, that down tilt edge guard. Yeah, oh, that man. was... I mean, just that situation as Falco, I could feel the nerves through <laughs> the game. Just, just the situation itself gives me anxiety. It's like, okay, you're in crew battles, you're trying to get this person's last stock, and they're playing Marth, and you're Falco. Like, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And you were kind of forced into that position as well, right? Because you were already down so much, you have to take this gamble. Because he was probably, like, playing Falco, uh, thinking, like, okay, if I beat Renzo, then I'll have to play Amsa, and I would rather play Falco versus Amsa than playing, you know, Marth or something. For sure. I mean... In the end, the that's where when you were talking about desperation earlier about like oh we need to send in fuzziness because this is uh you know uh, we're in a desperate situation. I would say in that case, fade is the one you send in because you know you have fuzziness in a desperate time. You have him in reserve. He's the last opportunity to do it because again, the matchup is not so great. I'm sure fuzziness could have done it and he had the opportunity to win that, but it's also like weighing out your your uh, matchups here a little bit and trying to figure out who maybe is the is the better pick long term rather than just this single game? Because, like yeah. you said, you know, now they have Marth, and if if uh, assuming they pick Fade, and as soon as Amsa goes in, it's it's over. I mean, not that it wouldn't already be over, but even then, you know, it's even more uh, sealed to that to that level. Ooh, looks like we're getting right into it. It's going to be Fade versus Renzo's last stock. Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I, I imagine we're not going Dreamland. I think that would be uh, an odd pick from either of the Marth players. Yeah. 
Maybe, maybe this is just a spite, Renzo. Yeah. I guess I mean, it's one just stock, a Renzo. One stock is not, you know, it's not completely out of the question for Renzo to take maybe like two stocks, but it's also not completely out of the question for Fade to, you know. Just... I thought you were going to say one stock is not a lead, but they're at like oh. <laughs> nine stock deficit. So. One stock is not a lead. It's only 13 to four. That's nine stocks are not a lead, guys. <laughs> and we count Scotland out yet. It's not over. It's not over yet. Fate is gonna do it, I believe. I yeah, want like to I, believe. There's a chance Renzo takes a few stocks here, there's a chance Fade just blows him out of the water and takes the stock instantly. So, yeah. uh, at this point, we still aren't completely sure on uh, what's gonna happen next for NL, if they're gonna have to send in another player. And if they do, are they just gonna go Opsa, like throw Opsa in and that's it, you know? Yeah, just uh, make it make it end. All right. Looks like we're gonna get back to Pokemon. I think this is just a comfort pick for Fate. Yeah, it would make sense. Okay, looks like we're gonna start. Yep. There Both it is. Both players just taking a second, making sure either them are ready and Fade. Uh oh. The Tipper F Smash. That's what I was talking about, though. You know, it's not completely out of the question. Fade just completely obliterates the stock here. Okay. Scotland's got some life left in them. Oh, he could have up you there. That would have been. Nice. High risk though. And now Renzo's gonna get a chance. Uh oh. Oh, this is so bad for Fade. Let's see if Renzo can get it. Nice sweet spot there. Uh, oh, wow. and dip low for that the was touching hard read. No jump on Fade. Okay, he does get back. Right, Fade looking for an opportunity here, just oh, playing. It does not want to lose the stock, and it, he's oh. gonna lose the stock. There it is. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh my god. A bit too far out. It took nine stocks. That's one more than Yappy. And the wave dash back F smash doesn't quite work out, but this one should. It's going to send far, but not quite far enough. If Fate can get the read like Renzo did, no, Renzo's going to get back the ledge. And now Fate in the corner here. This is pretty bad. Gets him off stage again. He needs to get a read for this edge guard because Renzo doesn't know how to recover quite well and gets back to stage again with the counter. Yeah, and oh at this God. point, at, uh, Renzo at such high percent that Faye's gonna have a lot of trouble finding a conversion, but Oof. really needs to find it quickly or else Renzo's gonna run away with another stock. Oh my God, and he takes another one. There Renzo, it is. stop. <laughs> he took 10 stocks this this crew battle. I really thought Renzo was just gonna SD there, like, I am done. <laughs> oh, oh. If he takes another one, I will. I don't know. I'm not even gonna say anything, whatever. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a pro pick. No. Oh, okay. Renzo might make it back. 10 stocks taken. 10 stocks. Renzo takes 10 stocks. He's crazy. Jeez, this man is out of his mind. He just kept He just kept getting away with it. So it looks like we're going to have to switch feeds now. Renzo has been knocked out. Yeah. Ugh, damn, this, uh, this is so rough. Fade on his two, last two stocks. And he has to play, like, how many stocks are left for the Dutch crew? 12. Yeah, 12 stocks. 12 stocks left for the Dutch crew. It's doable. Just take six stocks per stock, you know, and don't lose your last stock. It's pretty easy. If you ask me, I mean, put me in, you know. But again, uh, Netherlands can just pull the trigger here. They can go, okay, whatever. Here's AMSA. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Just <laughs> get Make it, it in. Stop it. Make it stop, please. Uh, <laughs> this is such a beatdown. It's so sad. Okay, so I guess we'll just have to watch. Is Fade also uh, broadcasting? No, he's not. Doesn't look like it. And it would be quite a shame if we did not see the last game. I guess they're just, uh, you know, taking some time to get the pick out. I mean, if if you're if you're like the Dutch, let's say you're Jim Morrison right now. You are Jim Morrison, the Dutch okay. crew captain. Okay. Can you can you imagine this? Okay, I'm Jim Morrison. Yeah. What, what are you picking? Who are you picking? Jim Morrison. <laughs> Without a shirt on FD. Put me in, coach. <laughs> put me in, put me out. I am the coach. I will put myself in. <laughs> That would be cool though. I would like. I would like to see uh, some. I would like ha to see Happy Meals. Honestly, just just throw in some uh, some other player than Amsa. I would yeah, like just to throw, see in, throw in the Fox Gauntlet now. Throw in yeah. Jillis and Jim Morrison. Just 
all on FD. All on FD. On FD. Gives them a good chance. Like, we'll just keep picking FD. You just <laughs> you get a lot of chances here. That would be the charitable option, but I imagine again we're not going to see the charitable option. That tea was very cold. It looks like Amsa is going in. Uh, is he? Yeah, if you check Netherlands strategy. Oh, is there a is there a Netherlands strategy? Or Netherlands general? Sorry, not Netherlands strategy. But yeah, looks like we're getting uh, Amsa. So. Oh okay. He's just gonna be switching over to his main account. All right. Man, I can't believe. Scotland kind of got demolished like this. I mean, it, it, okay, if Fade manages to do this, then, I mean, he, he probably won't. There's, there's no way, right? There's no way he's going to take 12 stocks off of the best players of the Netherlands. Listen, if Fade wins this, that also means he has beaten Amsa. He's done all the, all the rest of the bells and whistles, you know, beat the rest of the other two players. He will be better than all of Netherlands. Just, just let that sink in. <laughs> That's what we see now. He will be number one in NL. <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, Amos is streaming under Mr. Fantastic. Oh, I am going to join the broadcast right now. It's a white screen for me. White screen? Yeah, this is new. <laughs> new slippy feature? White screen? Yo. <laughs> Yo, this is sick. Let's go. Okay, so they are into it. Playing on Dreamland right now. Just doing some hand warmers. I'm guessing they have to restart and then we'll... We'll get right into it. Man. Okay, so they are just going to send in AMSA and uh, try and finish up this crew battle as quickly as possible. Yeah, again, this is the, let's say, optimal strat to some degree. Yeah, just throw in your best players and, uh, you know, watch them uh, do work. Well, this is uh, this is what's known as cleanup crew, you know? Or, or cruise cleanup. Cruise cleanup. Send in the janitor. That's Amsa what we call him. <laughs> That's what we call him in the Netherlands. <laughs> Mr. Janitor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like we're now. about to start. Oh, another restart. I'm guessing Ooh. we're not playing Dreamland. I think that's... Uh, is that the problem? Yeah, that's the problem. I would have said that would be the one stage Marth would be like, yeah, no. <laughs> I banned that for sure. Yeah. All right. What's Amsa doing? You know, he's taking neutral position over Fade it's already. So from intimidating. It's so intimidating. So <laughs> intimidating. Like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me go into that platform? Yeah. Maybe you forgot how Cruise worked, and he didn't watch the rest of the Cruise. <laughs> he's trying he to figure watch. out why. He's trying to figure out why Fade killed himself twice there. He's like, wait, what? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you do know who I am, right? I'm Amsa, so. <laughs> you need all your stocks for me. If we're looking at the player cams, Amsa's talking to someone right now. It looks like, okay, they're just going into it now. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, already yeah. Fade has a bit of percent, but, uh, you know, it's nothing crazy yet. He's going to have to do some crazy stuff to finish this. Man, how are you going to get through this gauntlet of players with Amsa, you know, blocking your path? I mean, to be fair, he's doing pretty good so far. He's doing good, but, I mean, he's, he's still not doing good enough. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, ideally no damage, but again, how much can you ask of someone in this position, really? True. Well, I, I will ask the world. I'll ask for everything. Ooh, okay. The nice. spike, uh, yeah, the needle spike there didn't quite work out, but this should be reverse it fair. Gets... I mean, as long as Fade is in the corner, that's a good spot for Amsa. Oh, for sure. He's going to wait this out and just hit that, yeah. Forder when he's coming back up on the stage. And Fade on, their, on his last stock, Scotland on their last stock. Can Amsa do it without take without losing his stock here? Oh nope. no, he can't. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, so Amsa's, you know, he's got a challenge ahead of him. He's only got three stocks left. It's not gonna be so easy. <laughs> Ooh, Ford Smash just oh. uh, you know. Yeah, and the chase the afterwards as well. Oh, this is looking like final nail in the in Scotland's coffin right now. I'm still missing that up air there, but Fade also going for up smash, not taking full advantage of the situation. Oh, that was a 
good DI mix up, but doesn't manage to get the finishing blow there. Fate, get, Fate gets in the way with the fair. Oh, and the overshoot with the dash attack. That's gonna do it, probably. Go to, oh, yeah, he, he tricks him up. He baited yeah. him hard there. Yeah. And that's gonna be it for Scotland. Let's last talk for Scotland. Uh, yeah, congratulations to the Netherlands. Um, we are, uh, yeah, looking good yeah, we, there. We did it, guys. We did it. We, we did it. You and me. I mean, good games to everybody, really. Like, well played all around. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So it looks like we're going to get right into the next group battle Belgium versus Spain. Uh, so we're going to switch into Sheezy. Take it away. Well, that was an explosive first set from the Dutch crew. Um, but we're going to go straight to a break just now. So please come back in about 10 minutes and uh, we've got the next match coming up Spain versus Belgium. Thanks for watching. <laughs>